Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the editor utility widget get selected level actors node. So this is our get selected level actors node. It's really simple. When we activate it, we're going to get back an array of actor objects that it found. Now it finds them by going into our viewport and returning back anything we have selected. We can select it inside of here using the mouse click, control and shift keys, or inside of our world outliner. So anything selected inside of our world, inside of our level, is going to be returned back in this array. Now note it requires the editor scripting's utility plugin to be enabled. And let's go ahead and run through this and see what happens. So I'm going to hit selected. And we're going to get back five printouts right here because I have five items selected. If we go through here, we don't have anything, but of course we can debug it. We'll grab our current runny one, and you'll notice it has our five items inside of our array because we're running it in the editor. Now in this case, I simply looped through it and printed out the name, but you can do whatever you want with them using any of the other utility plugins. Keep in mind, this only gets the selected level actors, this being your level. It will not return back anything inside your content browser if you have it selected. It also has a few different stipulations in here. It's not going to return back things, for example, that are pending kill or don't exist inside of your level itself. You can see here, pending kill, plain editor, and preview editor are not going to be returned. And what that means, for example, is if we have these items selected and we run this, we get our results. If we play to play an editor, and then we grab a few more items, you'll notice it doesn't return it back. These are editor utility widgets. They will not work when you're actually running or testing the project.